Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and it's been a while since I have published an update to the Signalis Camera Perspective mod. This being a mod I designed quite a while ago that adds first person, third person, DMC camera, all sorts of camera trickery to Signalis. And the reason for that is I've been mostly working on other projects, primarily the Signalis multiplayer project. But this week, uh, the testing for CDMP and the real development of CDMP kind of hit a bunch of hiccups. So instead of just having nothing update-wise, I was like, hey, maybe I'll take like 45 minutes and crack out a new edit for a new update of um, Signalis Camera Perspective Mod. And that's exactly what has happened. So the prime changes has been that I have messed around with the camera and made it more smooth to kind of eliminate the problems it was having in the free work. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this video where I'm gonna talk about that update and I'm also gonna talk about future plans for this mod and other mods. So first things first, for those who have used the camera perspective mod in the past, it isn't exactly my best work anymore. While it's definitely my most popular mod, um, far beating out CDMP's downloads, and a lot of people view it as essential. It's been used in all sorts of videos and video essays, which I love to see. It's definitely not the most polished creation. It definitely has a lot of bugs and a lot of things that I'd like to improve. And that's really going to be the main focus for updates for CDMP moving forward. I think I kind of talked about this in the last time I posted an update is that really the goal now is to just kind of clean it up. And cleaning it up isn't a fast process. It's a maybe every once a couple months you hear that I have dropped an update that cleans this one bug that someone found. But it's definitely something that I'm going to be working on, definitely trying to do over time. In this update, the main bug I focused on was the issues with the mouse and keypad movement. So originally, the problem was that if you did anything outside of straight axes, which means you, X, Y, you know, straight up and down, straight left and right, if you tried to make it funky and you did diagonal, it would horribly bug and it would become almost impossible to really view anything going on. That's been fixed. Um, I... I'm not sure why it took me this long to fix it, but it was something of a matter of it, I had to switch from the system I was using to something called Euler Angles. It's not that big of a deal. It just looks very nice now. Now actually usable to have the greater level of camera control that a lot of people were looking forward to with this mod. So that is amazing to see. I'm very happy about that regard. But that's really all in terms of updates. I did clean up some of the code, so you should be seeing less errors being logged. There is a new error that is regarding to something that's a work in progress, which is uh, adding in the motion sickness camera, because some people talked about wanting it back. So um, I added some code that's a work in progress of adding it back. It's not fully done, though. Uh, so that will probably be a future update that I finish all that out. So if you see error logging, that's probably what it is, but most likely you shouldn't see error logging anymore and it should run a lot smoother, which is really nice to uh, have. Besides that, there is some other changes that I have down the pipeline. The CDMP project has kind of taken up 97% of my time, which means I can't make big promises when it comes to other mods. But camera perspective mod, uh, I've always had this interest in adding a Silent Hill camera mod. And the problem has always been that it's it's a lot of work to do this, but CDMP has kind of created a lot of new opportunities in terms of what I can do in the code. And one of these opportunities is definitely that is something like a Silent Hill camera mod could be looked at uh, and definitely considered because a lot of the code is already done via CDMP. So possibly post CDMP, a Silent Hill camera mod could definitely be something that gets released. Really, though, there's not much for me to talk about. I'm not going to waste you all's time with 10 minutes of updates. I just wanted to say that it's nice to be able to work on older projects, and I'm going to be trying to work on some of my older projects, bringing them up to speed with where I am currently, and that there's no updates this week for CDMP. Thank you all for sitting through this video, short and sweet as I like it. And until next time, this has been Christopher Beast.